hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is ali today i'm going to show you how you can calculate normalized difference chlorophyll index and normalized difference water index so let's start first of all i defined variable ali is actually my shape file of mancher lake so here i just want to mention that i'm just using the rough outline or rough shape file of mancher lake so you can if you want your analysis you can use accurate shape file for your study area so the next one is handsome pakistani actually um, it's it defines a true color image using specific bands and adjustments and the next one is map center object where i selected my lake as a centroid or as a uh, center and the next one here the important thing is that i'm gonna use sentinel 2 so for that i define variable or and i filtered out sentinel imagery for my study area for specific date range and here i just want to mention that uh, i uh, commented the cloud pixel percentage if you want to use you can just uncheck that section so the next part is first of all we're gonna calculate uh, ndwi for ndwi i applied ndwi slash f image function that uh, where i explained that band 3 is green and uh, band 8 is uh, like near infrared and that is necessary to calculate normalized difference water index and the next one is we're gonna calculate chlorophyll assessment for that we're gonna calculate normalized different chlorophyll index so same i applied ndci slash f function to calculate normalized difference chlorophyll index and there i explained that uh, i used band 3 band 2 and band 4 band 2 represent the blue band band 3 represents the green band and uh, band 4 represents the red band and the value like 1.79 minus 0 0.789 into b2 plus 5 2.36 into b3 actually these are the mathematical formula used to calculate the normal difference chlorophyll index from sentinel to imagery bands and these are the coefficients actually we uh use them and they they are like empirically drive constants and they and uh, they are like uh, obtained by the specific properties of the sentinel 2 bands so these are necessary and they are they contribute in the calculation so that's why we're using these coefficients in the formula so after that after applying the function so here you can see i applied uh, visualization parameters minimum and maximum and that we will get printed in our console later when i will click on run so we will get these min and maximum in our console and uh, i will also explain how to adjust them so the next last step is legend so legend is created to explain the color scale for ndci image and relating it to the presence of chlorophyll in the water so it's all about the code so hope you like it i shown you the whole code you can just write down or you can just simply mail me so now i'm just uh, showing you the results so i clicked on run and here you can see the results so this is mancher lake and for and for specific date range like 2023 i'm gonna perform this so here you can see it's a mancher lake so uh, i'm just first of all i'm going to show you that i loaded on this mancher lake so s2 uh, slash sr is our sentinel imagery for that specific range and that is 2023 and this one is water and dwi exactly uh, and dwi and the last one is ndci so you can differentiate that how it differs now i will perform this analysis on different study areas to show you how values differ so actually this uh, uh, like it, the the results you just watching on the screens are on the specific bands adjustments and on the minimum and maximum value of this particular lake but in your case you will get your minimum and maximum value like they can be different so for that i'm just going to give you different examples so i hope that this will help help so keep watching this video till end so first of all uh I'm just showing you for my study area for example in my case for mancher lake this is the minimum and the maximum value so you can see in console i just got a maximum and minimum value of ndci so you can check that uh, uh, my ndci maximum value and my ndci minimum value 
okay and you know uh, if ndci uh, value is high so higher ndci value indicates that higher presence of chlorophyll potentially signifying uh, signifying plant growth in the water now i'm going to perform this analysis on this uh, green lake in china now you will see how it differs and i will first of all i will not apply any band adjustments or like i will not change any value so you will see that i will get the split image is just wide why it is wide because i didn't change the information or the adjustment of bands and you can see ndci is simply red why it's red because i didn't adjusted the value according to that study area i didn't applied minimum and maximum but in console you can see that there is data so you can see here the data is available and i even got ndci and dwi and everything so why it's wide because i didn't adjusted uh, specific band adjustment according to this study area so in this video i will explain that how you can adjust specific bands adjustments to your study area so for example now i'm going to perform this analysis on uh, one indian river i'm just finding that shape file uh, yeah here is river so for example in this i will show you uh, it will also show me like uh, white or something like as as we were just watching on the garing lake so here i didn't adjusted anything like minimum or maximum or so here i'm just going to replace on the river and we will get the same result there until i will adjust the band values so how I, in in this video i will show you how i will like adjust it so first of all i'm just going to run so it's loading we just have to wait then i will show you how it differs and how it works so for example here it worked and you can see it's just showing showing us the red batch so of my shape file now you can see uh sentinel imagery is simply white and the green one is actually the color i selected for water so it's up to you you can set blue or cyan or any color of your choice and but here my main motive is to show you how you can adjust the value so you can see it's totally red why because we have to adjust ndci minimum and maximum values according to that study area so for example here you can see my minimum and uh, maximum value so when i will replace it with the exact ndci maximum value and exact ndci minimum value for this river then it will automatically detect change and it will show us that how it works so for example i'm just copy pasting that we got printed in our console so just replacing the value with the accurate values now i will click on run and you will feel the difference that earlier it was red now it will show true representation that how much is uh, chlorophyll there and how much is pure water so this is our ndwi and now this last one is our uh, we're gonna get ndci normalized difference chlorophyll index now here you can see it is our ndci so you can check that earlier it was red now it's colorful now the next part is why the under like sentinel imagery is white now we will adjust the band uh, and visualization parameter for our sentinel imagery and then it will be colorful so first of all i'm going to click on this you have to click on this layer and click on this custom one and click on stretch 98 percent so here you can see when i will click on apply so you will check that it shows that the imagery now when i clicked on apply and you can see there's the white color gone and it's showing us like a river course or you can see here how it's showing us the river course and for example if we, if you will change colors so it will give us like different visualization so it's up to you how you manage and how you adjust your bands and colors but my main uh, aim was just to show you how you can select ndci minimum maximum values and how these values affect the visualization parameters and how it shows us the results now let's move to the garing lake that i shown you earlier without any adjustment so it was just white and red 
now when i will put the accurate values it will show us the true representation of ndci so for example here the maximum and so first of all i am going to copy maximum and replacing it with the accurate value of maximum for this study area and this is here the minimum now i will just copy minimum and paste over here now it will show us the uh, accurate representation of ndci for this particular lake and we will feel that there is a difference and just going to load so here you can see it's the accurate representation for guiding lake so uh, you can just sense by visualization uh, and here you can see sentinel is white now we just going to apply that trick that's stretch 98 percent it's not a hard and fast rule that you have to just click on stretch 98 percent you can use any of your choice but stretch 98 percent is like suggested and if here is the main thing that if you will keep it low so it will like uh, give you uh, uh, like pungent color so it's up to you how you uh, manage your color so you can select different color band ranges just to make your area more uh, appealing so it's up to you so but but here you can see that how it uh, showing us the lake so if i uncheck this so that's the accurate color of lake for particular 2024 year but i'm using this for year 2023 but you can choose you can just adjust these colors things it's up to you so it's all about the analysis you can perform on different study areas simply adjust minimum and maximum values from console and just replace your uh, shapefile uh, and simply click on run and you will get your study area normalized difference chlorophyll index so hope it was helpful for you all and i hope that you enjoyed the video remember me in your prayers and stay blessed have a nice day and take care and enjoy the video thank you bye take care